Our flight's at 9 p.m. Uh, we've already checked in. We're just waiting around at the terminal. Took us a while to check in because they need to make sure that we have a flight out of New Zealand. But almost boarding. We had a 13, 14 hour flight and we were flying in darkness the entire time because we left LA at 9 p.m. And it's like 4.30 a.m. here in New Zealand. I'm gonna go pick up our rental car. It's nice. Yeah, it's cute. I'm about to read this driving pamphlet that they gave me. It's gonna be pretty weird driving on the left hand side because we both haven't done it before. But Chris has been practicing. With truck simulator, all right, Chris has learned how to drive in the last few minutes. Uh, we're gonna head to our hotel. And then after that, hopefully it's daytime. And then we'll go into Auckland and uh, do some things. Nothing is planned, so. The hardest part is because the steering wheel's on the other side. I need to like stay this way in the lane a lot, but I keep like kind of drifting to the middle. But yeah, it's a trip. Also, I keep re like I keep doing the window instead of the blinker because it's on the opposite side. And then I keep looking the wrong way for the mirrors and stuff. Getting used to it. Also, the car, the guy at the car rental counter, instead of saying no worries, it's either he does that or everybody at New Zealand in New Zealand does it. He says no drama instead of no worries. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, we're gonna go attempt to check into our hotel. I'm pretty sure they're gonna say no, but we'll store our bags. So uh, the hotel lobby doesn't come in to work until 8 a.m. So we can't store our bags, can't check in, can't do anything until we speak to them at eight. Um, but I think we're just gonna change in the car and go eat breakfast somewhere. Just waiting for our room to be ready. We finally checked into our hotel room. We are very tired. I think we're gonna take a nap and then head back out to do fun New Zealand things. Woohoo! It's lunchtime. We just woke up from our nap and we're gonna head out to get some lunch. Check out all these mega triforces. Dang. It's super windy up here, but we're at the top. And we're gonna walk back to the car and figure out what our next steps are. Very cool though to see all of Auckland. Yeah. Okay, so this pink speedway thing is really not that cool unless you're riding a bike and it's really fun. You're just kind of walking between two highways. We're walking around trying to get to the harbor. We have no idea where we are, but it's a really cute square. We just got home and we're both super tired now. It's only 7 p.m. ish, but our bodies think it's midnight because we're still in California time. So we're gonna try to stay up as much as we can and then pass out. I am better right now. We just got up. We did pretty good with jet lag yesterday. We're gonna go to the grocery store, get some coffee, get some body wash, get some hiking snacks. And then I'm gonna time to drive today. So we'll see how that goes. And then we're gonna go see glow worms. It's so weird to switch gears with your left hand. Right turn is wide, right turn, right turn is, is wide. wide. Okay. okay, it's not too bad. Wow, it's so weird to see eggs not in the fridge. <laughs> it's just out here on the rack. Got our provisions. Okay, we just finished grabbing our groceries, but there's this cute bakery outside the grocery store. I'm gonna get some bread. Okay, 
Okay, we're checking out and we're gonna go to a city called Hamilton on the way to the caves to hopefully grab some lunch on the way. It's about a two hour drive to the cave. She's doing so good. Highway is pretty easy though. Yeah, I did it. I drove an hour ish. We're getting coffee. It's pretty good actually. We got a long black, which is like a mix between a just raw espresso and an Americano. We're making a stop because I'm hungry. Need my bag salad and then head to McDonald's because McDonald's like an hour away, but I'm starving. Okay, let's see if they have anything special. Texas barbecue burger. Salad burger. There's nothing really special at the New Zealand menu. Okay, McDonald's took 5,000 years, so now we're in a rush to get to the caves and we're gonna eat while driving. Also, side note, I've seen a lot of adults walking bare feet, which is fine, it's kind of nice. I guess it shows how like everything, how natural it is. But uh, I just saw an adult walk into a McDonald's bathroom bare feet. This is pretty dang good. Okay, anyway, we're headed to the cave. Woohoo! No photography allowed, so you're gonna have to just... Trust us, bro. Yeah, we'll bro, describe. just believe me, bro. Believe me, bro. It feels like we're in a rainforest. Was super super cool yeah the caves were not that big because we just came from carlsbad caverns they showed us the like lawrence has little spider webs like tons of yeah tons, okay like thousands also of you know what's webs. crazy is that the glow worms at the end of their life after a year they turn into a fly and the other glow worms eat the flies it's all so about <laughs> It's all about cannibalism up in that cave. So I do also think that the fact that you can go on a boat in a river in a cave yeah, is very, very cool. That's extremely cool. No, the boat ride was really short. <laughs> I really wish it was longer. Do it if you can. <laughs> yeah, they're very, very bright and there are a lot of them. We were about to go back to the car, but there's a little walking lookout path. So let's do it. Wow, it's really just rolling hills forever. Yeah. We're heading up the road 15 minutes to the Kiwi House, which has some Kiwis and other native New Zealand critters. So far, kind of disappointing because we only saw a beak, yeah. but maybe we'll have better luck in the next room, yeah. which is supposed to have two more kiwis. We looked for kiwis a bunch of times and we saw only a beak early on. The place was okay. There's some cool eels though. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna go to the national park to our hotel. Driving through New Zealand is super beautiful. There are just endless rolling hills and like billions of sheep and cows just spotted everywhere on the rolling hills. We just got to the national park. The room is very cute. Here is a bed, door, and then this is like a living room area. And then there's a pretty tiny bathroom. We're basically gonna figure out the hiking logistics. It's 7 p.m and we're probably gonna go to bed very soon because we have a 12 mile hike tomorrow.